Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of Convincing Idiots. I am Dean the Idiot. I am also an idiot. My name is Nick. It's different. <laughs> I'm the <laughs> oldest idiot, uh, Brian. And very enthusiastic at that. Yes, yes, indeed. <laughs> All right. Now, the premise of the show, if you haven't heard us before or seen us before, uh, we are three different generations of friends who uh, like nerd stuff, nerd culture, and we like to get we, we enjoy getting together and debating nerd stuff uh, at the bar and at our houses or Brian's basement. And we decided, why not let everybody else hear us ramble on about nerds? Uh, I was going to say shit, but I, that's not right. So I said, I'm going to go with stuff. Good save. And, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and so um, this podcast is just us going about it, uh, going about uh debating nerd stuff uh i am a zennial right here in the middle of mm -hmm. these two and uh nick i am i am a millennial uh i'm the young buck on the show at a, at a young 32 years old and we got dad brian over here <laughs> yes i am generation x so nick so and i are like we, 20 years we we're like 20 years apart things. what's that nick I was just going to lead into uh, what we're discussing today. Yeah, so, uh, uh, you know, we're all, we're, all, we're video conferencing again today because uh, we're still in quarantine uh, as we were last episode, last two episodes, actually. So a couple of us were exposed to COVID-19. Fortunately, everybody's OK. Uh, but as, as a lot of us are spending more and more time at home these days, and more of us are, uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Nice flex. You ever see like it, it's? You ever see like when they they they, they paint like a, a painting, a bag of a milk, toothpick, a toothpick or something like that? You know, like a, <laughs> it reminded me of that just now. <clears throat> like a popsicle Sorry, for, stick. We, we should remember that not maybe necessarily everybody's watching. So we have yes. uh, uh, middle uh, generation uh, Zennial Dean here in a tank top. Doing some mm -hmm. flexes for us, doing a little, uh, putting on the gun show for us. So that, that's what we're referring to. I would, yeah, I you was guys, just to, uh, I'd given you guys a show. That's all. We yeah, appreciate it. Uh, yeah, great. Thanks. We appreciate that. Yeah, and and you guys are <clears throat> wearing different attire from the last episode. And I actually, I have, I have done laundry since, and just happened to be wearing the same hat and shirt as the prior episode. So. Yeah, just, uh, yeah, how, uh, how embarrassed clean. I was when I saw that you guys were wearing something different this time. Go ahead. I can't smell you remotely, but I can mm. only just speak from past mm. experience. You always smell minty fresh, and I trust that you've yeah. done laundry. So, yeah. Yes, yeah, so like uh, the I'm, beard oil is is in action and all that stuff. What's so, the yeah, scent? Absolutely. We got some cedar going on, some man scent. So what is What's that? going on? It's like, a, I, I think it's like a, a whiskey breath, I think it's called. I'm okay. kidding. I don't know what this is. I, I'm not sure. It, it, it comes out of his mouth and just seeps into the beard. I, yes. It, they're very natural. Whiskey drunk dribble is the, the name of the scent. <laughs> What's that? I said drunk dribble is the name of the scent. Yes. I, it, that's probably pretty close. So what I was saying is that we're, everybody's home watching a lot more TV these days, you know, yep. streaming, watching shows. We've been, uh, we're big TV fans as well over the years. Uh, obviously, we grew up in different uh, generations, so TV it definitely uh, uh, means something different to the three of us growing up, you know, how you're able to watch it and this and that. So anyways, we, we were talking about some of our uh, uh, most memorable TV series finales, whether they be good, not so good. Uh, so that's that's what we're talking about today. So memorable finales of some longer running uh, television shows so yeah nick what do you got on your list there sir what shows made your list of good not so good sir yeah well uh we're gonna start from the bottom of the barrel here so here's my thing um i watch a lot of tv shows um mm -hmm. but some of them seem to lose my interest i'm guilty of not finishing many of them so i don't have a long list uh but i do have a few notable ones um, 
So my 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 favorite. We'll start there. Uh, my yeah. favorite TV series finale is a more recent one. Um, it's Breaking Bad. Um, I just thought that was a really well done show all the way around, and um, you know, it just they wrapped it up really well. It was a show that never failed to kind of surprise you or throw twists at you and things like that. It just left you always wanting more. So Breaking Bad did not disappoint me when it came to that. That's my favorite. Um, I have a couple of my, honestly, my two very favorite shows of all time. I wouldn't necessarily call them memorable endings, but I was happy and content with the way they ended. My favorite show for the longest time, uh, it's a classic uh, sitcom, Friends. I liked the way that Friends ended. It gave a nice little wrapping on everybody. There wasn't any big thing other than what you always kind of knew was going to happen. Spoiler alert, Ross and Rachel end up together. Um, but that was kind of a cool thing. My other one, which is I would kind of consider my new age friends. It's a very similar dynamic and possibly might be my favorite show. Also a sitcom, a newer one called Happy Endings. Um, if you're not familiar with it, it was on ABC for, I think, three, maybe four, I think just three seasons. Um, similar friends dynamic, three guys, three girls, six friends, the whole thing. Um, I love that show uh, dearly. I was very upset it didn't last longer. Same thing there. They ended different than Friends because Friends knew that they were ending it when they headed into their 10th season. Uh, Happy Endings found out, I believe, midway through filming their third season that they were getting canceled. Why? I don't know. But they got canceled, and they kind of did a nice wrap-up of everything that was going on at the time. Sad to see it go, but nothing crazy. I just really enjoyed the show. Um, and then the other thing, the, the other memorable one that made my list is the bad one. Again, it's a newer one. Pretty popular with people. I don't know if you ever heard of a show kind of popular on HBO called Game of Thrones. Um mm -hmm. Seven phenomenal seasons of television. Phenomenal. That will never be taken away from us. However, the eighth season, for some reason, had to be the last one. And it was kind of just a pile of dog shit, despite two episodes. We can get into that more later. But yeah, that's, mm -hmm. that's pretty much what I got. I've got that bad one. Um, and I think part of the reason that Game of Thrones ranks as my bad one is because because it was such a phenomenal show. It was so good. Such great television. Such great acting. Such great storytelling. So many storylines. Like I said, that can't be taken away. But at the same time, it twists the knife a little bit that it was that bad at the end, in my hmm. opinion. So, guys, right. what, do you, what do you got? Well, Dean, uh, you, were, you were talking a little bit about happy endings. Uh, but <clears throat> yours may have involved a sock off camera. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it's always a happy ending, really, <laughs> whether it's sock or anything else. I mean, does the sock feel that way or is yeah, it not? Well, fulfilled? here's the thing is I don't like to discriminate. So whether it be a sock or a female, when I'm done, I always scream like it's a race. You know, I win in your face, you know. A big old zoinks. Uh. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So what's on your <laughs> list, sir? Yeah. But <laughs> Dad, so that went on way shows? too long. That joke went on way too long. <laughs> What's on your TV list, sir? My TV list. All right, I'm gonna go. Um, my, I'm gonna go my uh, favorite TV uh, mm -hmm. series finale first. Number three, because I I'm at I'm at six. Uh, number three, uh, I Roseanne. Now, I mean, I don't know if you guys remember the end of Roseanne, the, the last season. Uh, they they won the lottery and it was just insanely ridiculous. You're watching it going, this is just it's such a departure from everything else of, of that they ever did in the in, in the previous seasons. That, you know, it yeah. got away from everything. And then the last episode, it turns out that that last season was all her writing a book the way she thinks her life should have went after Dan died. Hmm. So Dan had been dead for a whole season, and she, in her grief, wrote was writing a book, and that last season was was part of the book. And so I, every every sorry, I'm just yeah, go ahead. People aren't familiar, and I'm not. Um, everything up to the last season was reality, but the very last season was not reality. 
and then they go back and tell you. Well, there what there are certain things like uh, like the two the two daughters with their boyfriends uh, were with the different boyfriends because she just thought it would be funner to to watch them with different boyfriends type okay. situation and. Okay. Turns out that her uh, mom wasn't gay, but her sister was, or, or something like that. Like there were certain little things that got switched around, but I thought it was a great um, kind of a twist. Um, yeah. And then number two, I have same as you, Breaking Bad. Um, now I have it for different reasons than you. Uh, Breaking Bad to me, a you're correct, fantastic, uh, amazing show. The writing's brilliant, and the ending of the show was cool. You know. You kind of got, you know, spoiler alert, Walt laying there dead, Jesse driving who knows where. But that's not what I'm talking about. On my list for the Breaking Bad is the movie El Camino, which is the, to me, is the official series finale. It, it, it's that, uh, it's like hour and a half, two hour movie that takes place literally right after it shows where Jesse goes and it gives you the, the actual wrap up that you needed that. Yes. You, if you didn't see it and you watched the breaking bad uh, finale, you're like, fantastic. That works for me. I I'm fulfilled, you know, things got wrapped up, but you watch El Camino and it does give that extra oomph that you need. You need, it, you do find out where Jesse goes and, and what happened, what happens to him and stuff. Um, so yeah, that, that's where I stand on the, uh, Breaking Bad. And now my number one series finale <clears throat> to me just is the best. Maybe it was because how young I was. I mean, granted young I was as in, I was like a, an infant when, or a toddler when it, uh, went off the air, but I've seen every episode. I watched it with my father, uh, it was a huge part of my life in that sense, MASH. Mm. mash just it just it of course the korean war actually happened in three years four years and this show lasted 12 you know what i mean so timeline was great but they did get to go home and that final scene of him going up in the chopper goodbye written on there let's not take into the idea that there was an after mash um let's forget about that but MASH to me was was that feel good moment and one of the most watched things on TV in history. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yep. So is that what you got, Dean? That that's my that's my best. I'm gonna go run through my worst real quick. Okay. I'll make this quick. N number six, How I Met Your Mother. Brilliant show. Amazing. Funny mm -hmm. as everything. But. And even the last series, the, the 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 final series or the season was great. The last episode was great, but then the last couple scenes, they ex spoiler alert, they explain, oh yeah, that's how I met your mother. Then she got cancer and died. Yeah, that's how they ended the goddamn show. Ugh. And I and then the she he goes off and gets with his friend's wife or some shit. Yeah. Dog shit. Yeah, horrible. I don't horrible. like that. No. Seinfeld. One of the greatest shows on TV, period. Hands down. I don't care what anybody says. Groundbreaking. So, last episode. It's fun. It's a fun recap. You bring back all these people. Even them being in, on trial uh, was fun because you got to see everybody again. And at the end, you could have even... What what makes me say that this is uh, on my worst column is the final um, scene, final two scenes. The last scene is they're sitting in a holding cell waiting to go to prison because they got convicted. And the three of them are sitting there. They're backing the camera up slowly, and they use the very first joke from the series as the very last joke in the series. Boom. Fade to black. You're done. Brilliant. Good night. Instead, they do one more fucking scene of them in the prison in this hokey Jerry telling jokes at a in it, during lunch at or at the <laughs> prison. Unnecessary. You ruined it. You ruined it. And four. And 
as a child, my favorite show was Quantum Leap. I love Quantum Leap. I have a love affair with Quantum Leap. Once again, final episode. And, and just like uh, Happy Endings, they found out that they were being canceled as they were filming the last yeah. episode. It, there was meant to be a sixth season. So, you know, everything happens. He, you know, I'm not going to go into the whole episode, but he makes right something that he always wanted to make that was wrong, that he, he fucked up earlier. So, and then boom, he leaps out, fade to black. Okay, cool. Yeah, I would rather him gone home, but instead they give you a note that says he never went home. He's just for the rest of his life. He died in time jumping around. He didn't get to go home. Huh. It angered me. Yeah. Anger me. Goddamn core. Brian, what do you got? I think they're rebooting that show, aren't they? Quantum Leap? Don't tease me. Don't fucking tease <laughs> me. I look, Don't look tease that me. up. We'll, we'll, we'll look it up during this uh, episode here. But I can't stand right now. I'm going to tell you that. Uh, mine's not in any particular order. Uh, and most of mine are I enjoyed, I should say. So I have uh, Parks and Rec. Uh, we talked about that a little bit in the last episode with our favorite uh, fictional presidents. I thought they wrapped up that show very nicely. They went ahead in the future, gave you a glimpse of all, all the characters, where they were. Everybody had their crap together. Everything was nice. I like that. Uh, the New Heart show from... The 80s, 82 to 90, I thought was one of the most clever wrap-ups ever. And we'll kind of talk more about that. Cheers, yeah. 1982 to 93. Uh, the whole, you know, Sam, it was the cliffhanger. Was Is he going to run off with, uh, you know, Diane? She's in, she's out. She makes a return. Is he going to run off with her? Or is he going to come back to the bar? That was the whole thing there. And uh, Dean, I agree with you with uh, MASH. Uh, really wrapped up that series well. And it just, and we'll, I, we'll get more into it, but just you kind of mentioned the, the whole experience of watching television back then when we were younger is just definitely different than it is today. So we'll kind of talk about that. And then I'm kind of with you. Seinfeld, I'm sort of on the fence. One, in one conversation, I think it's a pretty good ending. And other parts of it, I'm like, ah, eh, not so sure. So we'll we'll kind of get more into that. So uh, we're coming up on the uh, uh, end of our first uh, segment of this episode here, guys. So why don't we uh, take before we get more into it, let's take let's take a breath, and then we'll talk about where we have some overlaps and get more into detail why we think uh, our maybe we'll start with the worst. Why do you think the the worst ones, you know, what, 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 uh, why do you think it's the worst and all that? And then we'll kind of end on a higher note with, uh, you know, why we think the, or, you know, why, why do we think this is with our, some of our favorites where we have overlaps there and all that type of stuff as well. So come back, uh, you get to hear angry Dean. Absolutely. And we'll also look up to see if uh, quantum leap is indeed rebooting. We'll do some fact checking there as well. Yeah. So. All yeah. right, so we're going to take a break, and we'll be right back with segment two, folks. Coming at you with Thank the facts. You. 